China has built its first undersea subway at a depth of 88 meters under the sea. This project makes everyone feel incredible. The ocean has long been a natural barrier, dividing land and posing challenges to regional development. Faced with this problem, human engineering technology has demonstrated its amazing creativity. Traditionally, bridges and ships were used to cross these natural boundaries. But in recent years, engineers have begun exploring a bolder approach, building tunnels directly under the sea. However, since the tunnel has been under the sea for a long time, how to prevent water leakage and overcome the complex construction environment on the seabed is the biggest headache for all engineers. Today, we will analyze the design and construction process of this underwater subway, reveal how it overcomes many difficulties, and how breathtaking the scene of the subway traveling under the sea will be. Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. As an infrastructure-crazy country, China has built and opened subways in 57 mainland cities, with 306 lines in operation and a total operating mileage of more than 10,566 kilometers. These subways not only run through the city's underground and high mountains. Even at a depth of 88 meters under the sea, China has built a 15-kilometer submarine subway tunnel. As you can see on the map, this undersea subway tunnel is located in Jiaozhou Bay, Qingdao, China. Before this undersea subway tunnel was officially open to traffic, people's transportation to the other side mainly relied on ships or driving around. Although the distance between the two sides of Jiaozhou Bay is only more than 10 kilometers, residents need to travel more than 40 kilometers to reach the other side, and this time takes more than two hours. However, as the local population increases, these two modes of transportation have obviously been unable to keep up with local development needs. In order to strengthen the city's transportation capabilities, Chinese engineers began bold innovations. They took a fancy to the subway's ability to travel quickly through the city and its powerful transportation capacity. Therefore, these engineers proposed an unprecedented project plan, which is to build an undersea subway tunnel through Jiaozhou Bay to facilitate the opening of the subway. According to the project plan, this undersea subway tunnel will become an important part of Qingdao Metro Line 1. The total length of the tunnel is 15 kilometers, of which the portion built under the sea is 8.1 kilometers long. It will be the deepest undersea subway tunnel in China. However, because this bold idea has not been successfully implemented anywhere in China before, the plan of Chinese engineers has been questioned by many parties. Even some foreign engineers believe that if China wants to successfully build this undersea subway tunnel, its subway construction technology may be several versions ahead of other countries. But in the end China succeeded. So, what problems did Chinese engineers encounter when building undersea subway tunnels? According to engineers' on-site inspection and calculation, the deepest point of the tunnel in the sea reaches 115 meters, with an average depth of about 88 meters. This means that the entire tunnel must withstand tremendous seawater pressure, with at least 88 tons of seawater pressure per square meter. This is equivalent to the pressure of 500 cars for every 1 meter extension of the tunnel. What makes it even more difficult for engineers is that this part of the seafloor still belongs to volcanic rock and subvolcanic group geology, and there are 18 fractured zones. This will lead to the risk of seawater surge and surrounding rock collapse on the seabed. Workers are particularly prone to collapse, leakage and water inrush during construction. Obviously, Chinese engineers will not give up in the face of such problems. In order to increase the information of engineers and construction teams, China did not hesitate to expand the total investment amount to 1.2 billion US dollars. With the help of significant funding, the Chinese construction team was able to execute this bold project with the highest precision and standards. Even before the project started, Chinese engineers spent 1.2 million US dollars to send 20 engineers to the UK to learn their tunnel construction techniques. 
In addition, engineers also bought the world's most advanced tunnel construction machinery and equipment back to China. Among them, Chinese engineers first spent 30 million US dollars to conduct a large number of simulated tunnel construction tests and independently innovated and established a complete set of monitoring systems integrating real-time flow, pressure and on-site construction video for concrete grouting. According to the survey, the utilization rate of this system is as high as 90%. This system can accurately control the distance of concrete slurry diffusion and the density of filling of pipe cracks during construction. It can also reduce the permeability of seawater in fissures and increase the stability of tunnel surrounding rocks. After years of hard work, the tunnel surrounding rock installation and internal concrete pouring were finally completed successfully. There is no doubt that the concrete pouring project of the tunnel reflects the bold innovation of Chinese engineers. At present, Qingdao Metro Line 1 has been fully completed and open to traffic. When the undersea subway tunnel was successfully connected to Qingdao Metro Line 1, this makes local residents feel unprecedented excitement. Because this not only adds a beautiful scenery to this beautiful coastal city, but is also a major innovation success for China in the history of world infrastructure. After the submarine subway tunnel was put into operation, the passenger traffic of the tunnel reached 300,000 in one day alone. At present, as long as local residents take Qingdao Metro Line 1, they will not be troubled by crossing Jiaozhou Bay, because it only takes more than 10 minutes for the subway to cross the seabed. At the same time, subways carry more passengers and are more efficient than cars and buses. For urban residents, because the subway lines are independent, not only are they not interfered by other vehicles during the operation of the subway, but the subway travels much faster than cars. Therefore, many cities choose to take the subway to avoid traffic congestion. Under such circumstances, the number of private cars in the city has been reduced. In addition, since most subways in China use electric energy, there will be no problem of tail gas emissions. This can reduce energy consumption and tail gas emissions to a certain extent, promote resource conservation and reduce urban air pollution. Therefore, Taking the subway improves the efficiency of transportation operations in the entire city and alleviates the problems caused by urban ground transportation. However, compared with the Channel Tunnel built in the UK, the project cost of the Channel Tunnel reached 15 billion US dollars, while China's subway tunnel only cost 1.2 billion US dollars. Therefore, this undersea subway tunnel is inferior to the Channel Tunnel in terms of size and length. But this undersea subway tunnel is of great significance to the Chinese engineering team because it helped the Chinese engineering team successfully develop their concrete pouring system. According to Chinese engineers, China's concrete pouring system can achieve full mobile signal follow-up coverage, full-face video surveillance and intelligent network management. Compared with the equipment used in the British undersea metro tunnel project, this not only reduces labor intensity, but also minimizes manual use. Thanks to the construction of this undersea subway tunnel, this provides a valuable research case for China to build larger-scale undersea projects in the future. Since then, China has completed the world's longest highway immersed tunnel and the only deep-buried immersed tunnel in the Hong kong Macau Bridge project. This achievement became China's first offshore immersed tube tunnel. China's challenge to the world's more difficult infrastructure projects has brought great confidence. Whether it is mountains or oceans, China's engineering teams can show their talents in these harsh environments and build one modern human engineering miracle after another. If you are interested, you can come to China to take this magical underwater subway and experience the experience of shuttling through the city on the undersea subway. In the near future, the subways built by the Chinese will not only run through their domestic cities and under the sea, but such engineering miracles will continue to be performed in other places on the earth.